Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Learn That Solo. Today we're going to be looking at part two of Master of the Puppets. We'll be looking at Kirk Solo today. Let's take a look. Take a look at the first section. I'm going to start from 17 of the first string and then go to 12. And then I'm going to go from 30 to 12 on the second string. And then back to 13. So all together. And then I want to go back to 12 on the first string at the end of that. So we're going to end up with a little group of six notes. So all together we're going to do that three times now. So we're going to go one, two, three. On the fourth group of this uh, little six pattern we're doing, I want to bring the pinky back to 15. So now this last group is going to go 15, 12, and then 13, 12, 13 on the second string. So 15, 12 on the first, and then 13, 12, 13 on the second, and then back to 12 of the first. So we're going to have three from 17 to 12, and then the fourth one from 15 to 12. So let's try that all thus far. Now what we do after that is nearly exactly the same thing again because the next bar is in 7, 8, it's going to be a tiny bit shorter. So we do the first three exactly the same. But on the last one we just go 15, 12 and that's it. So all together. Okay. And the next bit we go into is sort of working with the tremolo idea. So the idea with that is that we're just going as fast and cleanly as possible. So what I want to do is do the notes just as regular notes and then we'll add the tremolo later. So it's going to go like this normally. But what I want to do now is just do this. Let's get those notes right and then we'll uh, add the tremolo later. So what I'm going to do for those notes is I'm going 19, 17, 15 on the first string and then I drag my pointer back to 14. And the next bit I go 17, 15, 14 on the first string as well. So it goes like this. And then the last one is on 15 of the second string, but we don't treble like that. So we hit uh, 15 of the second string and then we bend 17 of the second string at the end of that. So let's do it again from the start of that group, but uh, I'll show you what it sounds like with a little bit more picking. So let's have a look at the whole thing from the start of this um, the start of this section, and then we'll do the last chunk together. Okay, then after that, I go into this. This little slide thing is a little bit weird, but give the song a listen; you'll hear it. What I'm doing is I'm doing a pull off from 17 to 15 to 14 on the second string, then a quick slide from 18 to 19 on the first, and then I do that pull off 17, 15, 14 again, so it'll go, and then at the end of that I want to do a pull off from 16 to 14 on the third string, so it'll go, alright let's do the whole section one more time. Start of this next section, I'm on six of the third string and I'm doing quite a big bend along with this pinch harmonic here. Okay, now I think Kirk actually uses a pretty wild whammy situation, but if you're like me and you're not cool enough, uh, we'll just improvise with some uh, full tone and some tone and a half bends. So I'm on the sixth fret of the third string, I do a quick bend, well this one's a little bit longer, and then I do two quick vibratos after that, so I'll do that again. Okay, and that's kind of going like a full tone kind of idea, and then that quick vibrato, and then the second one I do is a tone and a half. So I'm sort of going with 
my squeals, just so that it sounds a little bit bigger on the second time through. So I'll do that all together. Hopefully that makes sense. The next bit's a little straight. It sounds a little bit clumsy and angry, but it's got a cool sound to it. I'm on the third string and I'm going four, three, two, and then I hit two again. And then I hit two a third time, and it goes from two to four of the string above. And then I go to second fret of the fourth, and then I hit second fret again, and hammer to the fourth uh, fret of that string. So it'll go. One more time. All right, I'll go from the squeal now. After that, I go to this little run here. Okay, like before, uh, we've got a 7-8 bar, so it sounds a little bit shorter and strange, but listen to it with the song and you'll hear that shorter bar and just the shredder lads up. So let's have a look at this. I'm starting from 10 of the first string, and I'm going 10, 8, 7, and then to 10 of the second string. Okay, then after that I want to go 8-7 on the first and then 10-8 on the second. So it'll go. Let's try those back to back. At the end of that I want to go from the second string and I'm going to go 7-8-10 and then end on 7 of the first string. So all together. Okay, so at the end of that, after I've hit seven of the first string, I do a quick triplet. So. And then we just begin this kind of uh, descending shape, but also we're ascending while we're doing it. So it's a bit of an interesting idea. I'm going 10, 8, 7 twice on the first string. And then from 12, I'm going 12, 10, 8 twice. And then I go from 14, and I go 14, 12, 10 twice. And the last one, because of the 7 8 bar, I only do one here and it goes 15, 14, 12. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so from the other bit now, we'll join that to this. Let's try the whole section now from the squealy bit. Let's have a look at the final section. This is during the F sharp key changey bit. What we're going to do is we're going to start from 17 to the first string. I'm going to go 17, 16, 14, and then 19, 17, 14. So what I'm doing there, you'll notice that I'm using my point in my middle and my ring. When I'm at full speed, I found it hard to try and get the pinky and the ring involved. So if you can make the stretch, you're not thinking too much. You can get that speed up. It's a little bit easier. You don't have to think in, um, I just think it's easier to cope with. So I was going 17, 16, 14, and then 19, 17, 14. I want to get through that idea four times. Okay, at the end of that I want to do a bend on 17 of the second string, and then play 14 of the first, and I do that four times. So this is how I'm thinking about it when I play it. One, and two, and three, and four, and. So all together. Hopefully that makes sense, and then at the end of that I go... Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm doing a pull-off from 19 to 14 on the first, then 17 of the second string, and I do that twice. And then at the end of that I do a bend on 17 of the second string, and then hit 14 of the first again. So that very last chunk that I just did was this. Okay, let's try the whole thing thus far. At the end of that, we go into this bendy section. So I hit 17 of the second string as a bend, and then hit 14 of the first string three times, and I want to do that twice. And then bring that whole idea up a fret, and I'm going to bend 18 of the second string and hit 15 of the first string three times, and then we're going to do that whole idea twice. So back to back. Now the next couple of uh, those kind of ideas where we're doing the bend and the notes at the bottom, we're only working with groups of three now. So I'm doing a bend on 20 of the, of the second string and then hitting 17 of the first string twice. 
and then 21 of the second string is a bend, and then 18 of the first string twice, and then 22 of the second string, and then 19 of the first string twice. So it'll go. And then I do a big bend on 22 to finish that. And you can add some vibrato or a crazy whammy. So that whole bendy section was. Alright, let's try the whole section from the start. That's James and Kirk Solo. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. There's a link to James's solo in the description box uh, for this particular video. So if you want to go back and have a look at James's solo, please do. I'll catch you guys real soon.